So let's get started with a design. This is a thumbnail that I would create on my other channel. So let's just select a picture of myself. So one way that I would do this is when you have an image selected, you can click edit image and then get off of blur. Then you can do adjusting. So you can adjust and you can blur the whole image. So right here has blur and you can slide the scale to blur it. This is really useful for when you're doing a blurred background, but you want something in the foreground to show up. Let me show you how you would do that with this picture. So basically you would need two copies of this picture. One copy, you're going to have the foreground sharp and in frame, and then the background will be blurred in the other. So I'll need two copies of this picture. So to do that, I'm going to do a right click and then copy or command C, and then I'm going to do a right click and then paste or command V. So I have two options. I'm gonna move this one out of the way for a moment and then I'm going to blur this image. So here I'm going to go back to adjust and I'm going to blur it that way. I could also go to blur and do the whole image. So I'll show you what that looks like. So if we go down to the tools and do blur, we can do an automatic where it does the whole image and we can change the intensity like that and then apply. My image did blur and it attached to the background so I had to detach the image from the background. So let's pull up this other image. And so this is the one I want in the foreground. So it's the same size and I am going to do the background remover on this. And then that will give me a foreground that is sharp and then a background that is blurred. I will do another one after this to show you the opposite effect where you want something in the foreground blurred and then the background of the image not. So here we go, we're gonna apply that. So now we have my face very sharp in a blurred background. That is how you use this for this effect. I hope this was helpful. If you like Canva tutorials, definitely subscribe or check out this next one.